that's it. I am going to slow the air. I was just wondering. I'm a living thing. Animals are also living things. And plants too. But how do plants breathe? Let's do an experiment. According to Google, plants don't breathe in and out using lungs. But it is an analogy nonetheless. Oxygen and carbon dioxide pass in and out of the stomata in the plants through diffusion. When the plant is submerged in the water, bubble of oxygen or carbon dioxide released or trapped and they stick on the leaves or petals temporarily. Let's prepare our materials. We have a freshly picked leaves. We will only use one but you can use as many as you can. Rock which will be used as a way if needed. We need to submerge the whole leaf under the water. A basin or clear bottle where you will put your materials and so we can observe what will happen to them clearly. And of course, water. Now, we have a basin. So, we have to put the leaf inside and then first we have to put water and then if it floats we have to put the rock in. Now, let's put it. Hang on. Okay, and then pour out the water. I don't think it does observe two to three hours and let's observe what will happen. Let's observe. By the way, I put this under the sun outside. There's there's many bubbles around here. Even here. Like we just humans when we're other underwater and that and when we exhale, we also produce bubbles through our nose. Just like this. The leaves has many nose. And these are called stomata. But we cannot see because they're so small. The reason why we put this outside under the sun. The leaves need sunlight to make their own. And this is called photosynthesis. This allow us to see the bubbles. The bubble that we see here is oxygen. And since oxygen is lighter than water, the bubble will eventually rise up. So that's how plants breathe to, through their stomata. <laughs> plants really breathe. Okay, thanks for watching my, my video. I hope you like it. See you guys next time. Bye!